Hello, beauties! Welcome to our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot! In our first and final episode, we will be destroying... Hmm? What's that, darling? A flirting contest? Mm-hmm. It will boost my ratings. I do believe you have a point. Oh, yes. My dear, a win against me is quite impossible. But for the sake of ratings, I accept. Let's open the phone lines. One lucky caller will win the privilege of guest starring as the subject of our affections. Sans, the human has not called in ages. And when I try calling, it doesn't go through. Yo, bro, Metaton and the human are- Sans, Metaton and the human are on the television. Yeah, bro. They even have a number I can reach them at! Sounds good, Pep. Given my clearly unfair advantage, I'll allow you to pick the caller, darling. Pick me, please! Choose, please. Choose, Choose me! I'll do anything that I want! Yeah. Hey, I like you! Anytime, I love you! I need you! Hi, I'm Bob. Human, it is I, the Great Papyrus. When you did not call Someone in the last half know, hour, right? I began well, to feel no mildly magic. concerned. I will win either way. Attention, human! The Great Papyrus and his brother Sans have arrived! Excellent! Very well, beauties. Here are the rules. The victor will be the first to win over tall, dark, and skeletal here. What? <laughs> By any means necessary. I volunteer to be the judge. I know my bro best, and what's one more job to hold down anyway? Sans, you don't do any of your jobs. I'm here now, aren't I? I, the Grey Papyrus, am a perfect candidate for such a contest, as I am quite used to receiving love and affection from my many admirers. Well, of course you are, darling. <laughs> Who would be able to resist such a fine specimen of your caliber? Eh? <laughs> Your charm is overwhelming. I'm quite enraptured, darling. Um, yeah? Undyne taught me how to make spaghetti. Yeah? Hmm. I have my own cooking show. I'll make you anything you want. Wowee. Sans, they're meeting all my standards. Your standards are lacking, bro. It really doesn't take much to get pasta your defenses. You would date anyone who made a half-decent pun! True. You are one cool dude! Cool? I'd say more like hot, darling. Do you have a permit to carry those guns? Forget the guns! Your entire body should come with a warning label because looking at it is raising my core temperature to unsafe levels. Well, of all the beautiful curves on your body, your smile is my favorite. Dear, yeah. your lips look lonely. Would they like to meet mine? What lips? I may be a pacifist, but I'd punch a million tomatoes for you. Tomato, tomato, it doesn't matter how you say it. I am the one for you. You're an excellent guard. You've certainly captured my heart. Well, yeah. I'm no organ donor, but I'd be happy to give you mine. Are you an astronaut? Because your hot pants are out of this world. Astronaut. Sans! Your outfit is amazing, really, but I think it would look even better on my bedroom floor. If you ever get cold and snowed in, you can use me as a blanket. Darling, are you straight? Because so is spaghetti until you heat it up. If you were a pasta, you'd be a capellini because you're so fine. I like every bone in your body, especially mine. Child's got game! You want to what? I don't understand. Whoa, there, kid. Let's keep it PG. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah? Why, human? Are you dancing with me? Pardon me for butting in, darling. But if you're going to dance with a monster of such splendid stature, you should be tall enough to do this. Hmm. Eh, eh, eh. Hmm? Yeah.
Oh, Sugar Skull. The waltz may be the dance of romance, but the tango is the dance of passion. Now that I have you to myself, true mastery of the nuances of the Argentine tango requires decades of practice. But with a little help from me, you'll be an expert in no time. Twirl! Now put your hand here like this. And no Argentine tango is complete without a dramatic dip! You're a natural, darling. Thank you, Metaton. Ow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're very good at this, human. Sudden death round. Okay, that's over with. Come on, Pep. You look like you could use a break. Uh, wait! Darling, you haven't told us who won! Oh, uh... I don't know. I fell asleep halfway through. Sans! What? <laughs> hmm? One moment, please. You did very well, human. I was thoroughly wooed. Your dancing was quite skillful. And you must come over so that we can cook spaghetti with Undyne. You must be wary of whom you use that charm on. It's quite potent. If you're not careful, everyone will want to date you. <laughs> it's not hard to love you, human. Thank you. Papyrus, was it? You are quite the marvelous guest, darling. Thank you, Metaton. I loved being a part of your show. I watch all of them every evening with my brother. Oh, how very sweet of you, darling. You are extremely charming, Metaton, and I love your new form. It suits you so well. Though, of course, the other one did, too. You are my favorite sex... er... <clears throat> rectangle. I have all the figurines of your other form, and I can't wait until the figures of this one come out. Though, they'll never be able to capture how lovely it was to meet you in person. You really are the star the underground needs. We all adore you. All right, Sans, I'm ready to head out. <sighs> I promise I'll make you both my underground famous spaghetti. Bye. Hmm. Uh... Let's put it to a vote, then! We shall let you, the viewers, decide! Who won this duel of devotion? This altercation of admiration? A. Yours truly, the fabulous, elegant, overwhelmingly obvious choice. Or B. The human. Phone in your answers, beautiful viewers, and may the best robot win! Human, we both know that if you were the judge, that sexy skeleton would have chosen me. Alright, I forgot to do this. Thanks for watching. Bye. The end. <laughs>